Welcome to the Miro TV. We offer you news, local, national, and international. On politics, religious, and social cultural events, project work documentary, live documentary. Contact us today and do not forget to subscribe and drop your comments as we give you updates on daily basis. A multi million property in Asokoro Abuja FCT demolished by, by the administrative of FCT Minister. A developer in Asokoro has come to the present Amaritinobu of Nigeria for an intervention following the demolition of his property worth multi million seated in 214 hectares plot had been demolished without any order of revocation issued by the FCT administration. On Wednesday morning, scores of armed security operatives, including soldiers, policemen, and civil defense, surround the 214 hectare property near Sokoro, where multiple luxury duplexes are being developed. After about six hours, the buildings, some of which had got to lintel level, and the fence are all pulled down and left in a heap of rubble. The property is owned by one of the foremost private developers in Abuja, Paco Nigeria Limited, led by Linus and Nicholas Ukachuku. Ukachuku claims the demolition was done in bad faith. We get called for a meeting over the land. We went with our documents. After I see what we have with our lawyer and the other people's other sunrise, which they get part of that land. And we can say that there is nothing on this that uh, the court should take effect. After going around the land, his normal ways of behavior, he started shouting, how would they take this all this land and give to Ibo man? According to him, all the legal titles of the property had been obtained, including two ministerial approvals, the latest from the Ashwal FCT minister, Bello Mohammed. They went through all due process, including ministerial approval. We have full final title, certificate, and offer. A certificate of occupancy? Yes, offer to certificate of occupancy. Most alarming, according to him, is that there was no order revoking his rights to the property before the demolition took place. As I'm talking to you now, we are not receiving any documents. All these things, we saw only what we saw, the demolition. The title has not been revoked. We have not been served. Ukachiku also insists the action of the minister of the FCT runs contrary to two pending court orders restraining any action by the FCT on the plot of land. Two separate court, each with different court order, restraining him from tampering or doing anything in those uh, property. But all of a sudden today, we cannot move all, all the caterpillars in Abuja. I went and started pulling those properties that we have invested billions into, down. He wants President Tinubu to wade into the matter to protect the rights of genuine investors and businessmen. Call him Mr. President, who I know that has nothing to do with the tribe, to... Mr. Okachiku, urge President Tinubu to take urgent action by removing the FCT minister, Nelson Mwike, who has turned to be a thorn in the flesh genuine investors in the nation it is high time we protect uh, we protect what we have more than how we destroy all we have 